Hey everyone, it's Jen and this is Amateur Kitchen where I bring you into my kitchen and show you that you don't need to be a professional chef to cook or think like one. And today we are cooking from a professional chef, the one and only Bobby Filet. No, he's not here. I just have his cookbook. Um, it's actually Bobby Filet's Mesa Grill Cookbook, Explosive Flavors from the Southwestern Kitchen. And he actually has a uh, Mesa Grill that's in Caesars Palace in Vegas. So if you haven't been there yet, that's a definite stop next time you're in Vegas. And put 20 on 7 for me too. So anyways, um, he actually sent me this book. Or at least it sounds a lot better when I say that. But he did sign it for me, so how awesome is that? And uh, I entered into a competition not too long ago for uh, Columbia Crest Grand Estates Wine. Great time, a um, lot of experience with that. So, But what we're doing from his book today is a stripped bass with roasted poblano vinaigrette and yellow pepper grits. Uh, so with that being said, let's go ahead and get started and we'll kind of talk through it uh, you know, throughout the way. So I've roasted some peppers, as Bobby Flay told me to, at 375 in my oven for about 15, 17 minutes or so. After that, put them in a bowl and cover it with plastic wrap. Once I take this off, I'm actually going to peel the peppers, I'm going to cut them up and seed them, and I'm going to put a couple in my food processor and a couple I'm going to the poblanos I'm going to set aside. Um, I did the yellow pepper and the poblano at the same time just to save on time. So let's go ahead and get started with these peppers. We've already diced up, actually we've just chopped up our uh, roasted yellow peppers. Uh, one word suggestion, I would roast them a little bit longer till they get a little bit browner. It was a little bit tough for me to take off all the skin. So um, anyways, just trial and error. So that's my recommendation for that. We're going to put our lid on the food processor and start pulsing this. And we're going to do it till it's a, um, you know, pretty much pureed. Pretty good, I think. Yep. Um, without losing half of it as I put my lid out. And now what we're gonna do is I'm actually this is the first time I've cooked with these. It's called Homomini. Home Hominy. <laughs> Sorry um, if I'm mispronouncing it. It's the first time that I've cooked with it. And what it is is it's corn. And the way it looks like is they've already cooked it and taking that outer layer of the corn that you're, you're normally used to for the kernel out of it so it's, it's cooked and the germ is taken off of it. So anyways, I'm going to put in 32 ounces of this. I've rinsed and drained this. And I'm going to put it in my food processor and I'm going to pulse this maybe four or five times. I don't want to pulse it too much otherwise this is going to kind of get gummy and we don't want it to get gummy. So I've put it all in there and let's go ahead and put the lid right back on. No salt and pepper or anything, so let's do it four or five times. I don't know, that looks pretty good to me. Um, this is a yellow peppered grit, basically. So that's what it looks like. Okay, and one more thing for the record. This Hamani Homini is uh, found in the um, Authentics food aisle by the Hispanic area. So if that's what you're looking for, I had no idea what I was looking for, found it right away. So word of advice for that. 
now uh, this is uh, mixture is going to go onto the stove top here shortly. And I've already chopped up a few onions. This is just one Spanish onion. And I'm going to finally chop up this half of it as well. And from here, we're going to take it to the stove top. We're going to cook these onions for about three, four minutes. I'm going to add a clove of garlic for about another minute. And then I'll put in our grit mixture, our um, yellow pepper grit mixture right over there. So we're going to put our onions on there. It's one whole Spanish onion. And we're just going to mix these in for about three, four minutes. My heat is set at about a medium, medium high. And we're just going to allow these to come down and reduce a little bit. All right, so our onions have been on for about three, four minutes. They're sweating out real nicely. Now I'm going to add my garlic that I've chopped up from earlier. And you really don't want your garlic to burn. Once it burns, it becomes a bitter flavor and taste. So really, we're just kind of heating it up and real quick. So don't have your temp. It's still set at a medium, medium high. And from here, I'm going to put in our yellow pepper um, hominy mixture. And I wanted to also let you know another name for the hominy is pozole. P-O-S-O-L-E. So uh, when you're looking for it in the store, and of course I'll have the recipe down with the correct spelling, and I apologize. But anyway, so it's been about a minute. Let's go ahead and put this mixture in here. Now with this, we're also going to add about a cup of heavy cream. And you can either measure it out or eyeball it, whatever you want to do. I'm going to turn this down just a little bit. It was more at a medium high, now I'm putting it at a medium. And this is going to get kind of thick. If it gets too thick, go ahead and add more cream and more... Um, or more water too if you want, whatever you want. So we'll let this cook for about 10 minutes or so. And from there, remember the we had a third yellow pepper that I finely chopped. I'm gonna add that in along with some white cheddar cheese. So um, it'll really bring a richness out to this. And from here, we are heading to the star of the show, which is the fish, of course, that's our protein. And I did not get bass. Let me show you what I got. All right, so now we're gonna cook our fish. As I mentioned before, I didn't get bass because I went to my butcher and asked and they said, no, we don't have any. Um, it's great to make good friends with your butcher because then they can help you out immensely with so many things that you're cooking with. Anyways, they said that haddock would um, help or would work out just as good as uh, bass would. So it's just a white fish, um, mild flavor, so it's gonna take really well to the poblano vinaigrette along with the yellow peppered grits that we're serving alongside of it. I have this pan steaming hot. If you can see, it's kind of smoking. I've EVO'd salt and peppered my fish. I'm gonna put it skin side down first. You wanna hear that good sizzle. And then I'm gonna salt and pepper the other side as well. And I'm gonna cook this for about two or three minutes on this side and flip it and cook it for about another three, four minutes on the other. And we're about ready. We only have our poblano vinaigrette after this, so it's looking delicious. All right, so my yellow pepper grits are looking fantastic. Uh, it's kind of creamy. If you want it creamier, go ahead and add more cream. What I'm gonna do now is, remember the chopped yellow peppers that I cut up earlier? I'm just going to fold those in just to give it a little bit more texture and freshness. And then I've also grated up about a cup of um, shark cheddar cheese. White cheddar, that is. So, yum! I'm a big cheese lover, so. I can't believe my dog hasn't run over here yet, too, since I mentioned the word All right, so now we're working our, on our roasted poblano vinaigrette. I'm gonna go ahead and smash and chop up another piece of garlic. Again, with the poblanos, 
I would suggest that you roast them a little bit longer than I initially said, the 15, 17 minutes or so, or do it until they get a nice char, like a blackness to it. It's not burning, you're gonna take that skin off and stuff, so it's just easier to take off the skin. So we're gonna go ahead and just chop that up. We don't have to do it real good because we're gonna put it in the food processor anyways. If you don't have one of these, go ahead and use like a blender or something as well. I'm gonna put my two poblano peppers that I chopped up earlier in here without trying to spill so many. Man overboard. Okay, and then we're gonna do a tablespoon of red wine vinegar. I love this. It's really good for vinaigrettes too, like on salads and stuff. Mix this with a little bit of EVOO, salt and pepper. You could even put a little bit of Dijon mustard in there. That's good. So put about a tablespoon in, whatever you think a tablespoon looks like, or you can get your measuring spoon out, whatever suits your fancy. Then I'm gonna do about a teaspoon of Mr. Honey Bear. Hello. And he's gonna come out very slowly, about a teaspoon. This will just add a little bit of sweetness to the vinaigrette. Not very much. Not today, honey bear. And then we'll just put a little bit of salt and pepper in there for taste. And a little bit of oil. When I say a little bit, I mean like a quarter of a cup or so. And I'm actually going to just put a little bit in now. I'm going to start it up and I'm going to see if we need more later. So. Let's get this party started. That should be good. Let me show you what it looks like. As you can see it coming off of my thing. That's hilarious. All right, this is what it looks like. It's nice and, you know, kind of creamy, runny. I think we're about ready to plate up. Hey everyone, so we've plated it up. It looks delicious. Again, this is, um, rather than using bass, I use the haddock along with some roasted poblano vinaigrette and a yellow pepper grit. So it's very unique, very interesting. It comes from Bobby Flay's Mesa Grill Cookbook. If you're ever in Vegas, make sure you check out this place in Caesar's Palace. It is delicious. Now I'm gonna try it. So I don't have to be in Vegas, and neither do you. This is my first time, you see how it went. I had a few slip ups every now and then, but for the most part it went really good. So let's go ahead and try the grits. Mm. Those are good, those aren't like the creamy grits. They do have a lot of texture to them. I like the cheese that that's in it though at the end. So I'm gonna take a, a little bit of my fish and the poblano pepper. Mm. The poblano vinaigrette has a little bit of a spice to it, but it's not super hot. It's not one of the hottest um, peppers that is out there. So this is what I'm having to eat. I hope you're having the same. Join me again next time on Amateur Kitchen. Mm -hmm.